Hey everybody, this is Debbie Hoover on a very cold morning in Minnesota. We are experiencing some, you know, cold weather. Nothing real spectacular, but everybody around here seems to think it's like the storm of the century. Anyway, um, this is video two and I wanted to talk to you today about organization. And, I, and I'm not talking about how many pencils you need and how many pieces of paper you need and, and all those kind of things. There's three things that I want to talk to you about today as far as organization is concerned. The first thing is you need to figure out which avenue you're going to use. For me, I'm using blogging and video marketing. So you need to find the product that suits those needs and lets you accomplish what you need to do. You don't need every shiny object that shows up on the internet. You know, we've all made that mistake. We've all bought every little product because it sounded like the best, next best thing and turned out to be not the next best thing. So just focus on one or two things that you need. You know, I have an excellent blogging platform that I'm using and I'm really happy with it and I'm excited about it because it's a portable pro product that I can use my phone with or go on my, you know, laptop with. But it's really important to choose which avenue you're going to use. The second thing that you need to do is you need to be... Um, you need to have a contingency plan. Um, yeah, out here where I live, I don't have electricity, so a lot of times I'm reliant upon my Wi-Fi connection that I, I purchase and pay a lot of money for, or I go to a, you know, a free Wi-Fi center. And you know, I went to McDonald's the other day and they said, oh, you can only stay here 30 minutes. So you have to really have a good contingency plan for when your electricity goes down or when your internet goes down. You know, what are you going to do to build your business? How are you going to keep going? Are you going to just quit for that day? Or are you going to get in there and do something for your business? And it's really important to have a contingency plan set up. And the final thing and I don't think a lot of people notice, you know, look at this, is you really need to be prepared for success. Um, you know, what does that mean? That means that, you know, for, for people like me, I was afraid for a long time of succeeding because how am I going to handle a huge group of people? What am I going to do? How am I going to be able to, to keep a huge group of people, you know, moving forward? And you need to be prepared for that. You need to be prepared for success. You know, in your mind, you need to see yourself as the leader. You need to see yourself as being able to, to uh, get people to where they need to be as well. And it takes time and patience and learning and training and a lot of reading. And we're going to go into that in another video series. But in another video, I mean. But for now, just you know, look at the the three things that we've just talked about, and look at how you can be prepared to build your business, and you can do this even with only an hour of a day. You know, a lot of times that's all I have. A lot of times all I have is time to do a video because I work a 12-hour shift. So if I can do this, you can do this. And I really encourage you to, you know, check on the next video. And by all means, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow along. And, and you know, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a PM. And, you know, let's talk. And have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.